Hello? Hi, this is George from CVS Pharmacy. How are you doing today? All right. I'm calling to just confirm that you are the one having pain in your back and your knees. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, I had some medicines that I was subscribed to. Yes. Is there a problem oh. with it? Very sad to hear this. Uh, and how on a scale of 1 to 10? Like how bad is your pain? I'm sorry, you've broken up there. What? Would you rate your pain on a scale of 1 to 10? Like how bad is your pain? Uh, I'd say about 4 now. Okay. Actually, this time type of pain removing cream gel along with the joint supporter like a braid which you can wear it underneath to your clothes five minutes and the whole day you don't feel pain and the best part it will be at no cost to you it will be covered under your health system so i believe you are still on the medicare right yes is this coming from cbs is okay. that why yeah affiliated with your prime System, your Medicare is providing you this benefit at your doorstep through the UPS, okay? Okay. Okay. So, just to make sure that the joint supporter fits you correctly, confirm me. Uh, what am I confirming? Yeah, okay. so what is your height, sir? How tall are you? How tall Six feet tall? Uh, it's about six two. And what is your body weight? Like how much do you weigh? I, I don't understand your accent. Say it again. Uh, how much do you weigh, sir? What is your body weight? Oh, one, like 140 pounds. 180. Yeah. 180 pounds, right? Yes. Okay. And as a piece of identification, confirm me with your date of birth, the good day. Uh, say that again. Uh, what is your date of a good day when you were born? Why would you need that? So as a piece of your identification. But you're calling me from CBS and you already have that in file? Yeah. Okay. Uh, like, I have your... Uh, check that there is... Uh, your profile is in front of me. And I believe I speak with Miss Christopher, right? That's right. Okay, and your street address is 100 Artmore Road. Your zip code is 01702. That's correct. Uh, and your date of... I'm sorry, it broke up. What, what did you say the date of birth was? What is your date of birth? Sir? Uh, I, it's uh, not even here. Uh, it should be. It's CBS. Like it may be removed by someone. It's like it removed by someone. So what is your date of birth? Uh, well, I have to use it to confirm when I buy my prescription, so I know you guys have it. Uh, sir, sorry. By the way, accidentally it may be removed here. So can you confirm me? I'm just wondering why the caller ID says it's, you're calling from Boar's Nest, not CVS. Well, I'm calling you from CVS. But the call and I have your address and. But the caller ID says you're calling from Boar's Nest. It's a bar down the street. Okay, sir. So and what is the and when was the last primary care doctor? Like your primary physician? Okay. I, I, I'll call the CVS directly just so that we can I can talk to you guys. So I'm calling you from CVS for your benefit. Even so, though the even though the call ID says it's Boar's Nest. When was the last time you visited your primary care doctor, sir? Hello? 
Yeah. When was the last time I went to the doctor? You had that, you had that record there too, because I get a prescription of that in the past 48 hours. The last 48 hours, okay. And what is the name of your uh, doctor, your primary physician? Yep, and you have that in file too. You should know that. No, sir, I'm calling you from CBS headquarters. That's why I don't have your doctor. I have just... Oh, okay. Sounds severely suspicious so to me. Physician name, sir? Can you spell it for me? Yeah, it sounds suspicious to me. Sounds like you don't have a lot of information that you should be having. Especially for a CBS. Sir, can you can you spell your doctor name? 